Before the episode start, it was streamed at my Twitch live, so if you like, please check it out. Okay, now back to the episode. The question is, how do I get here again? Here, here, move it here. Why not? Let's go to that port, that nameless ruins. Go down and try to see if there's a way go towards the area. It's like here because we met up with one of the members down here. Then I got lost. I, I can't find my way to, to the campsite that they made. Probably over there is where they they set up the camp. No, are they up here? I thought I already talked to you, so maybe they're up here. This way. Mm. Where are they? Oh, speaking of which, we heard of the... Um, ah, I can't read. Wait, you can read that. I can't read that. I don't know anything about that. Hmm, no, not really. Yeah, it's, it went by so fast I can't read it. Yep, they're here. Okay, finally another area to teleport to. That's why they're up here, not over there. I went over there. That's why. Finally, some progress. We're here. Welcome. Oh, told you it went by so quick. Um, I want to talk to you first if I can upgrade some items. Or my flashlight, quote unquote. Oh, you're here. Thanks for helping up clear the path. Zai Kyung was also a big help in um, guiding us as well. So thank you both. Tell me about the camp. Well, it looks good. My specialty, by the way. I started learning all this from my father starting from the time I was around 10. How to set up campsites, how to make crystal lamps, how to maintain mining equipment. I, le I learned and learned and my father grew old all, that, all the while. Eventually, when his eyesight started failing, it, will, it fell to me to maintain the safety equipment in the mines. And even later on, well... As you can see, I'm not young anymore myself. As for the rest of my tale, it's not much. I found a man, lost a man, had a daughter who went off to Semeru to study. Sometimes when the men at the mines leave as early, it falls to me to take care of their kid. So I carry some sweets around all the time. And that's why in my mind, kids always look this way to me. Sweet smelling, staring at me from where they are on the ground, waiting for candy or some colorful rocks to play with. Whoa! Uh, so do you have candy on you, right? Um, candy? Well, it's not fancy type like you get in the city, but you're not going to be picky now, are you? So that's the kind of candy you're talking about. People come and go, leave only memories behind to accompany me, and adventurers who go into the mines like you, of course. I'll talk to you again later. How about you? I didn't talk to you. That, uh, oh, hello, sorry, you bothered me there. So, does that make us even? Alright, no need to horse around. Our current situation is not good. Not good at all, really. You seen the shining crystal fragment already, right? If my guess is not off, there should be an even larger one deeper down. Although, I suppose you already knew that. In theory, our reading should have stabilized once the fragment of our return to its original location, and that's what happened, in fact, but the waveform is wrong all along. What are you talking about? Not much of a student, where are you? Hey, I learned some stuff. Some stuff. Well then, let me put this simply. We are currently aching to be on a stone mill on the brink of the clash between two great power. Albeit on the larger time scale, we are presently being crushed by two forces, one from above and one from below, and we shall soon be turned into beam paste. Just wait and see if you don't believe me yet. That adventure named Jin Kyung, well, I've seen what happened to those who got too close to such things. Today it's going to be coughing up blood, and tomorrow she might just cough her inner cell too. Is there anything I can do to help? You? Well, give me some time to think. There's got to be some way we can... Well, whatever the case, what we need most urgently now is for you to continue exploring until you find out what's happened down here. Don't worry, I won't sit by and do nothing in the situation. I got to make sure that my investment seat from return. After all, so I must see the safety of the exploration team. Um, will you be taking responsibility for me too? 
Mm, well, I have to admit that your abilities have completed exceeded my expectation. As such, I think that you're more than capable of taking responsibility for yourself. Ah, never mind. What am I saying? If something does happen to you, I'll compensate you, okay? Well, thank you for being considerate. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Is there something you need? You're coughing away. You sure you're okay? I'm alright, really. The air down here is just kind of thin, um, which doesn't sit too well with me. Ah, yes. This is the map that I drew earlier. <clears throat> um, well, that fails better. Ah, uh, you'd best rest up. Don't go running around all over the place now. Speaking of, of maps, we've got one for you as well. It's a map of the two strange bells. Seems like it's something those dastardy Fatui left behind. Thank you, I'll incorporate this new location into my map. Wait a moment, did you say Fatui? They've tunneled into the place as well? Certainly, looks like it. Looks like we've got to be even more careful while exploring the chasm. Speaking of which, we found this. Um, you've been around here more, Sing Kyung, so you probably know what this is used for, right? This? I think I found a gate with a symbol similar to this one somewhere deeper down. Uh, sorry, if I remember correctly, you could hear the wind behind the gate. I am quite sure that there should be a large open space behind it for sure to ex explore. I, w I wondered what relationship this thing has to do that cage. Might it be a key of some sort? <coughs> um, Kyung, right? Um, this is a device used to unlock the gate. Whoa, where did you come from? Ah, hello, before joining the conversation might be nice. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I was just eager to say that this strange device is indeed used to open the doors. I once looked into similar devices and just as luck might the device enhance in an exact match to the one in my research lab. Unfortunately, neither alchemy nor basic me mechanics can help us understand energy held within this device, nor can they explain the, the principle behind the ability to unlock and un lock gates. A research lab? Aren't you a paleontologist? We are more to take a rather dim view of those rely purely on theory. That said, we often have to work with those blockheads from Spatamad all the, all the same. <sighs> well, that's all I can tell you. There isn't much else to be said with regards to the academia. You can keep going, not, not that well understood or anything, of course. Oh, I'll, st I'll stop, I'll stop. I didn't form this exploration team to divulge all our secrets or something. Whatever the case, if we're able to find the gate that Zhengkui spoke of, we will be able to use this strange device to open it. Let's go together then, shall we? Ever since you shared this new map with me, I've been left with this last section unmapped. I just thought that that we could... <coughs> Whoops, sorry, you know... We could get all done in one go. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Are you fine? We can leave the map um, thing aside for now. Have you had close contact with the black muddy stuff at any point? Oh, I'm fine. The environment just not sitting well with me. You know, I mean, this is nothing for a true adventure. <coughs> nothing? Hey, you'd better wake up, you hear? You're the only person, I repeat, the only person in the whole team who had shown such serious negative reaction during this process. Um, we have to send you up to the surface to rest. If, if we go now, there's still time. All right, all right. Don't look at me like that. Do whatever you want. It's not as if I'm your parent or something. Will you really be fine? That's right. You've been coughing this whole way. <clears throat> I'm fine. I, I can take it. I joined this team of my own accord. I'm not going to change my decision based on what others say. Hmm. Yes, I suppose that that's an adventure. Your primary concern is the remuneration? If you're willing to leave, I'll make sure you're compensated. It, it will be quite a generous package. The representative from Liyue will understand as well. I'm <clears throat> sorry, I'll have to excuse myself now. The area traveler cleared out needs remapping. I shan't waste your time any further. Right, traveler. I'll head to the gate that I mentioned before later. If that's where um, you're headed as well, we can meet up there.
I hope she's fine. I think there's a lot of more dangers over there. And she's kind of coughing a lot. So maybe there's a lot of something's going on with the black blues. Like like the note from the, the old man from earlier when the last miner. Um, he was like delusional and ate some mushrooms because of the black ooze. So yeah, <clears throat> hmm, this kid. It's not to be um, reasoned with at all. You're being too harsh on Zyongkyo, Kidai. Exactly, you were so curt. And you didn't explain anything either. Is there any wonder that you tricked her off? I just didn't expect that she would leave literally in no concern for her life at all. You know what? Forget it. She can do whatever she wants. And then she'll regret it later and ask for help. That's how young people are. Always got to take it, take a hit or two before they learn. What exactly is wrong with Zing Kwong? Anyway, what we're facing is, in essence, very similar to the anomalies on Dragon Spine, in the sense that their source is something alien to this world we know, and it involves the clash of two energies. And that is why we had to get you on the team, Slime Venom, since you are able to manipulate the elements without the use of a vision. For normal people like us who neither have vision nor can manipulate the elements, those anomalies are malignant, even fatal. Um, those who have close contact with the source of the anomalies may begin to lose touch with the world. Some will weaken swiftly and even die, die, die. So, Xun Kuing is in trouble. That's as much as I can say. Wait then, what are we supposed to do? Should we chase after her? Ah, it's her choice. But we can't just stand by and watch. We could, we should at least try. Well, don't let me delay you either way. I'll leave you to your own business. There are still a great many secrets for us to discover down, down there. And if you meet Z, please take care of her on behalf of the rest of us. I'll, I'll just call her Z. Z with an H. Nice. Need to go there. This is what it looks like. Okay, time to open this gate and see what's going on in here. Um, yes. Hello, are you feeling well? Oh, did I collect that money? <clears throat> hey, Slime Venom, you're here. <clears throat> what are you doing here? <clears throat> what's wrong? You don't look so good. Did I I know you in some way? You know, Paimon's having trouble telling look worse bet between the two of you. The road ahead is very dangerous. You know, everyone's actually really concerned about you. Please don't care so little about your own safety. I, of course I know they're worried, but it's like I said before, this is what an adventurous life should be like. No adventure in the world would balk in the face of danger, and I have no wish to lie in bed, weathered by age, relying on others to eat or even get myself to the toilet. If the alternative is Stability and boredom. I'll choose danger any day. I'd rather lay my life down here than lie in some cozy bed waiting for time to claim me. I belong here. I know it. A comfy job with a ministry. That's not for me. He dives Mora. It doesn't own me. And as opposed to those lucky few who have vision, adventures, exploration, challenge. These are things that only be truly experienced by normal people like us. So when it comes down to it, it's all about you, huh? Haven't you spared a single thought for others? I said it before, this is my own business. It got nothing to do with anyone else. I'm sorry that they might feel bad about the matter, but... So... You just want a thrill of adventure. Alright. But you need to, the safety of yourself. How will you adventure if you hurt yourself? Think about that. Like, if you hurt your leg... You will be bedridden for a while and you're not gonna adventure, think about that. Uh, must you really go deep into such dangerous places? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, yes, I just, I don't want to be forgotten. Aw, <laughs> same. At least this way, I'll leave some maps behind and I'll have borne witness to the sight of the chasm and I would be accomplished all this, stepping into the realm of the forbidden as a normal being. And the trail of the Yaksha who defended Liyue in Legends might be behind this gate if I could reach that place. I don't know if I can make it there, but I wish that I could get closer to the unknown place. Perhaps 
we might truly find a reason for the anomalies here in the chasm. Everyone needs a rest, ordinary or not. We're all worried about you. Please don't take such poor care of yourself. Please go back to the camp and take a rest. Please? Yep, that's right. You should totally get some rest. The road ahead is still plenty dangerous. You can just wait for us to finish clearing the obstacles ahead before following after. It won't be too late. Anyway, um, someone needs to record down that we've seen, right? If no one records the stuff, no one will remember it af um, after all. Huh, you're... You got a point there, Paimon. Hehe. <laughs> I get it, I'll go back if you insist, but please, you keep your wits about you as well. We will, stay safe on the way back now. I, are you sure you're gonna go back? I'm not sure about that. <sighs> Paimon has no idea if she really heard the word of we, we said. Okay, time to open this door. That's a lot of doors. Three doors. Okay, well, see you guys. Time to go in. That, hmm. Chris looks familiar. Let's look up. Have a oh, look, shall we? But we love action. Part 4. An explosion has occurred. Cause unknown. The Mokosh device, which should have theoretically been able to clear the abyssal corruption from this place, has overloaded and been destroyed. The black um, pollen on the main fragment has begun to regenerate. So you're the cause of the black ooze, Fatui. We need to sum up what we learned thus far. One of one or several hard strikes aim a key stress point on the main fragment can cause the black matter to re retreat. Our scouting um, parties have discovered human activity in different locations. Whenever they are humans or some other creatures in, is unclear, but perhaps they might even be the culprit behind the black matter's Propagation. So the soldiers. So you're saying the soldiers are part of the the goo. Okay, what's down here? Is it a cool? It's another cool scene. Yes, we can go even deeper. Cool area. Looks like we're gonna fight another boss here. Oh, another teleporting area. Waypoint. <gasps> now that's cool. <laughs> All right, another pillar. Like from the area above, where we started to go to the chasm. Hmm, it doesn't look like a, like a natural cave. It looks like something huge cut right through this place instead. Huh? Actually, wrapped right through might be more accurate. You know, Traveler, do you think the floating thing looks rather familiar? This resembles what we saw on top of the dragon spine back then. Kinda. I mean, it looks like it. Um, there's smell or aura. It's pretty similar. Whatever it is, it's really spooky. What have you discovered, Paimon? Um, whatever it is, this is pretty creepy. Noted. Thank you for your input. You know, doesn't the stone tablet look kinda new to you? It doesn't look like fit with the ruins around it at all. Although the inscription cannot be understood, Per se, a little obs um, observation revealed that the engraving is a map of the surrounding area and that the other pictures have something to do with the floating crystals. Hmm, so the big crystal have five weird devices around it and these lines are connected to the crystal. Ah, Paimon can't read this. Why is this diagram so messy? Looks like we need to activate those five crystals. Then uh, someone needs to hit the crystal or something. And then the black spots will disappear. After that, wait a minute. Why did they throw the big worm? Hmm. Seems like this stone tablet is telling us to beware of a super big worm. You mean the worm that I fought er um a while ago, with like um, a robotic worm? Perhaps it warns us to beware of, of stepping on worms. Huh. That sounds a lot easier to get. But still, we got to try before we know for sure. <clears throat> also, traveler. Look at the purple black blackish stuff. It's all over the big crystal. Looks pretty similar to the dark mud we encountered before too. Well, let's start from activating those devices. Hmm, yes, you're right. Oh ho, very fearless of you, Paimon. Well, we're already here, so we might as well do something. 
Well, that's true. We're here just to interact with everything. Not gonna lie, this looks cool. So yeah, it looks like from Dragon Spine, and it looks like from one of the pillars that we um like activated on the chasm above. Hmm. Cool. So I need to push that. That not me. That. <laughs> Gotta say that the whole chasm thing, the the whole chasm areas. We're way behind schedule. Looks like an like another like region. Because of all of the things added, new areas, new sceneries. Okay, so we're here. So I need to activate four, five. Five, then do that. Hmm, why is this mechanism? Okay. It used three. Four, 40k. Okay, we purified it. Let's keep going. Okay, we got one out of five. Okay, we got one down. There's one over there. I need to go around. <clears throat> now we're going to this area. I need to open it first, then activate it. No enemies. Okay, we can Next on the agenda. Oh, whoa! And you're down. Nice. And we're good. Now we wait. We're good. We've got two now. Next on the agenda. Okay, here. I'm ready. <laughs> Another one. Okay, you guys are very lucky. Okay, now I need some more light again. It's 50%. So where do we go next? <clears throat> Activate. Bow before the abyss. See you again! Oh! I don't know what happened. Oh, now I know because I've charged this to 100. That's why he died. Now I know how to do it now without fighting anything. Ooh. Hmm. One there. Remove the corruption. Activate that. Why? Not? I'm gonna do this anyway. percent Everyone died? Nice! Um... 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 Paimon, you're just alone there! What happened? <laughs> well... Paimon, what are you gonna do now? It's kinda funny though. It's only Paimon and the Traveler just died. Hmm. Looks like we've come to a bit where we've got to apply some external force to the crystal. You ready, Traveler? Sure, the diagram on the stone tablets are reliable. Well, we've come this far. Let's just give it a shot like we always do. But, ow, ow, that hurts. But, uh, Paimon, what will I ever do with you? Alright, come on, it's a big crystal. Don't you just want to poke it? And the Traveler is back online. I thought I died. Time to hit this giant purified crystal. Is it upside down? It looks upside down. Is there, is there a crack up above there? I'm kind of curious. Where? Okay. Looking at the chasm. If this is the chasm, bottom left. Bottom left. So there's something supposed to be here. If we follow the map here and here. It's very nearby. All right, let's go. Time to hit this thing. Bonk. That's a lot of force. And a lot of energy. 
Are we gonna fight something? Oh! So you're the worm. I fought you already! I already fought you! I'm here. Show yourself. Here's something for you. Oh no, I don't have bait though. Wait. We're way behind schedule. I'm not ready, never mind. I'm back. Give me DPS. We're way behind schedule. Yep. I need to learn about your attack patterns again because I forgot. Boom, boom. And then. Okay, that was another chunk of damage. Motion to compel. Okay, another chunk of damage. Those are again the same thing. Yeah, same thing here. Pistol. Boom. Swing. Swing. Okay. Ready. Good enough. Motion to compel. Okay, go for me. And now, Eyes on me. Okay, good enough. Ah, it's gone. Now I can win again. Okay, we're halfway there. Motion to compel. I mean, we're almost done. We're almost done, Paimon. It took a while, but... It took a while. Cool. Oh, hi! Hello there. And you appeared right now. Cool, nice. <laughs> and you appeared right, appeared right now. You, ki you killed. You stole my kill. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the help, I guess. Mysterious stranger. And it goes back up. Yeah, it's just same thing from the very top of the mount, the mountain of Dragon Spine. If we did that earlier, Traveler, it will be much faster. Huh? Is, is it over? It all kind of feels like a dream. Looks like the thing up there was gone back to normal. The air feels less heavy to- Hmm, even though we've reached the bottom of the castle and even defeated the creature down there somehow, but it doesn't feel like we've answered any questions. In fact, we've got more questions now that we, we did before. Like for example, what was that thing above us? Why did a giant serpent come roaring out? Where did the dark mud and the strange monsters come from? The monsters that follow the dark mud here seems to be eating at the big crystal. And Z mentioned that the Yaksha was here once. Hmm, this is way too many questions for Paimon. Looks like the chasm really has many secrets that are yet to be discovered. Yeah, no wonder adventurers like Z are so committed to explore this place. But things should quiet down a bit in here now that we're cleared this big thing up, right? Still looks like a long way off before the the mines can reopen. But our exploration mission seems complete. We'll worry about the other stuff in the future. Oh yeah, one more thing. 
It feels like someone helped us out during the fight with the big snake. Did you hear the sh zoom sound during the fight? Sort of. Hmm, well, never mind. When we head back, we can ask Z if she saw any strangers. How are you feeling? Uh, great, you're back. Yep, we're back. There, there's been several earthquakes ever since you went through the gate. <clears throat> we don't know what's going on down there, but we're glad to see that you're both okay. Well, you don't look too bad yourself. Looks like the rest healed, eh? How are things on your end? I followed your advice and rest here all this while. I'm feeling a whole lot better now. Was this all due to that, that thing behind the gate? I didn't go in there, but I could feel some strange pulsing within. Something amazing must have been back there. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> I grew up listening to tales of the Yaksha. And some of my seniors used to say that one of them was sealed inside the chasm and slumbers to this day. So she is one of the Yaksha, I assume. Well, we didn't meet, met this Yaksha you speak of. I see. Thank you. So as for the dark mud, we... I'm <clears throat> sorry. It hasn't been completely cleared out yet. Yep, now that we've removed the taint from the large crystal, that stinky mud should be back under in no time. Underground in no time. I understand. <clears throat> I'll inform the other team members. It seems that our exploration of the chasm has met with some initial success. This is way stronger than the time in Qixing village. Any other plans? Any future plans? Well, we could use the opportunity to become an official exploration team under the merit of the civil affairs, but I don't think we will go anywhere in any time soon. After all, it was due to your splunking that we were able to avoid the perils of the path, such that no one was injured or lost, and that our material losses proved negligent. I think that we might stay here for a while yet, help the Minolet staff watch over the underground anomalies, and maintain the exploration facilities. Did you encounter any string, um, strangers after you we left? Well, what? Hmm. Well, I didn't see anyone on the way back, and I fell asleep pretty quickly once I got back to camp, so I didn't see anyone else pass by. What's wrong? What's the sudden question? Hmm, never mind, it's nothing. <coughs> well, if you're leaving, don't forget to say hi to Mooning as well. <coughs> tell, tell him that I'm gonna be promoted. That I'm gonna be promoted. Who knows who's gonna be the boss of Poopy for long? Okay, back to morning then. Hi morning, been a while. I did what you didn't want me to do. You're back. How did, how did things go? There's good news to be had from underground, I hope. You tell morning everything. Ha, <laughs> see what I told you. The exploration team were a re reliable lot, and the expedition was bound to be fruitful. I have received the ore samples and data that K and Jin have gathered. The unknown matter is in full retreat, um, retreat, and the geological shift have um, largely sealed. It's a good omen indeed. Thank you for your help. The Minolith have also expressed no objections to our plans for further exploration and restor um, restoration. In fact, they should be getting ready to des descend into the mines themselves. Sorry, did you say something before? Hmm, that's right. So who was the one who was trying to their best to prevent us from going down previously, huh? Uh, <laughs> come on now. There's no need to be so straight about such things. I mean, I will pay you, of course. The Chasm Exploration Team will become an official part of the Hoi San Hall from this day forth. You need to work on your ability to change the topic. That's right, but since there's more to be had, we'll forgive you this time. Ha, <laughs> thank you, and, you know, I did get a real earful from the higher ups myself for letting you go down there without so much as a report back to headquarters. The higher ups? Who? Yeah, and who would bother coming down here themselves to give you an earful anyway? You might not believe me, but it was the Yu Heng herself. She seems quite concerned for your safety. Uh, seriously? So Ke Ching's been keeping an eye on us this whole time. Uh, but the person we met down there didn't look anything like her. What person? Uh, you forgot? It's the one that that went zoom and went right by us. It was super flashy and stuff. You met someone else down there? 
Are you certain that it wasn't a treasure hoarder? Hmm, it is certainly worth recording, but don't worry. The minute will help you look it look into it. Ah yes, traveler. Since I'm currently in charge of the exploration teams, a uh, material needs. Could I also ask you how things are with the team at the moment? Um, Z isn't looking too good. That's right. She's still down in the mine, and she's not in the best of conditions. Hmm, Jinwoo did mention her condition to me. I'll, s I'll send a report recommend recommending that the ministry send a, a medical team down there. With any luck, she'll be patient and stay out of any hazardous zones. Please jo join up, but he was a treasure hoarder previously. Will things really be okay? Oh, him? We all know him. He's not a bad person by nature. If you were able to trust him, Traveler, still, I think he's have to wait for a while before he can become welcome in any official captivity. Let's just call it a probation period, shall we? About Ke. Oh, the fellow from Semeru? Well, I won't lie to you. You can think of him as a sort of proxy. On the surface, he seems to be the organizer and the overall in charge, but in truth, even he answers to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Of course, this comes with some academic agreement that the Kyushin have with the ac academia. The, the people upstairs went back and forth with the academia from the while over this. And I'm not at liberty to say more in any case. Whatever the case, a researcher from overseas is not exactly someone we should normally use. But since he's willing to pay for the team from his own pocket, I suppose we have a little reason to refuse his help. Well, what's the arrangement going to be from now on? <laughs> the ministry will send some people down there. I suppose we've got to trouble our dedicated professional to delve into the previous steps for us again. Again? <clears throat> anyway, thanks for your help. You're always welcome here at the chasm. Yes, indeed. And there you go again. Changing the topic so suddenly. Okay, okay, let's not get too hot and bothered about that. In any case, the Ministry thanks you for your service, and we will not stand in a way of your activities within the chasm any further. That mission is done. 